Victims of domestic violence often suffer in silence, but what if clues in their medical history could identify their risk and connect them with resources and support? Well, using artificial intelligence, a doctor at Brigham and Women's Hospital has developed that very tool. WBZ's Lisa Hughes introduces us to this week's Changemaker. Brigham and Women's Hospital emergency radiologist, Dr. Barty Karana, doesn't simply read scans and x-rays, important as that is. She's developed a tool using artificial intelligence to predict and diagnose patients experiencing intimate partner violence. She was strangulated and hit by her husband. So we had history when she came. And as you can see, there is a fractured arm bone. What you don't see in this x-ray are prior injuries, fractures, emergency room visits, medications, canceled screenings, and more. Dr. Karana discovered this patient's heartbreaking history after an old x-ray popped up of the break in her other arm. She had 68 radiological studies on my system. Which means 68 different x-rays? Yes. Yes. For different injuries? Different injuries. And sadly, it's not uncommon. This patient was brutally hit with a hammer uh, by her ex-spouse. We don't want to wait until this happens. We want to diagnose long before that. And now, with almost 80% accuracy, they can. Dr. Karana's Automated Support Tool for Intimate Partner Violence, or AIRS, relies on a patient's radiological data and clinical history. Using known domestic violence cases in the system, she and her team built a computer algorithm that recognizes the signs of intimate partner violence. With our tool, it automatically calculates and then gives you the probability of uh, intimate partner violence risk for every patient at the point of care. So it is actually doing this in real time. Critical objective information that can also help doctors and nurses talk with patients about a sensitive issue before the violence escalates. With intimate partner violence, this is like cycle of abuse. There's definitely more escalation and there are more severe injuries over time. Many patients suffer in silence. Domestic violence affects at least one in four women in the U.S., one in seven men. It's involved in almost half the homicides against women. Could this AIRS tool save lives? I think any prevention tool absolutely can. Patient advocate Jessica Loftus applauds Dr. Karana and the multidisciplinary team that helped build the tool. It's a really beautiful example of how this sort of one specialty clinical area can speak to a person's whole uh, landscape of health and, and well-being. But we're really getting into kind of looking through this enormous database um, of cases and controls. With 7,000 new images and an NIH grant, Dr. Karana and her trainees are now refining the AIRS tool. It's rewarding work for second year radiology resident Sarah Ricklin. Being able to actually make a difference um, and be part of someone's real clinical care and be a, a kind of turning point potentially in their lives um, was really what got me excited about this project. And aspiring medical student Alex Kwan. We could be the backbones of the hospital and knowing that we're helping patients behind the scenes. Radiologists typically have little direct contact with patients, but as Brigham and Women's implements the tool, Dr. Karana is already getting feedback on its life-changing potential. What I learned from patients, it gives them empowerment. They understand that they are not alone. They have resources, support. For a public health issue that affects entire families. We can actually stop violence and we can prevent further injuries. So I feel very happy and satisfied that finally we are doing something for these patients. Lisa Hughes, WBZ News. And Dr. Karana says the tool is able to identify patients experiencing intimate partner violence four years before they self-report. Right now, as she and her team are refining the tool, she's looking for survivors and volunteers to join the project. To learn more, head to our website, wbz.com.